What's your favourite post-war poem? Enter our national poll by dialing this number, 891 300 Remember to tell us the title or first line and the name of the poet. Now BBC Scotland are one, a trip down under. Um, because <laughs> Ben, Ben and I are getting married. On BBC Two, in a moment, all the drama and heartache at Heartbreak High. With a little understanding, you can find the perfect blend. That's when. Become good friends. Good news. It's half time. Watch Mega Mag. Don't miss it. Be cool. I'll be on Mega Mag very soon. I predict that Mega Mag will be back soon. Mega Mag returns next Monday to Friday mornings at 9.25, CBBC Scotland on one. I'll be there. And so will I. On tonight's programme, the Korean electronics company Hyundai brings hope to one of Scotland's worst unemployment black spots as they announce 2,000 new jobs in Fife. And the runaway Bishop of Argyll apologises and pledges to marry his lover. That's your national news in half an hour. The six o'clock news now on BBC Scotland on one with Martin Lewis and Maurice Stewart. The next national news is, of course, the nine o'clock news. And the six o'clock team, good evening. Good evening. Now all Scotland's news, including a full weather forecast, in Reporting Scotland. Tonight, new hope for one of Scotland's worst unemployment black spots. In his first time I've interview, the disgraced former Bishop Roderick Wright has apologised for the pain and sorrow he's caused by running away with... Beat me, Yoksa Shabash! Yeah. Because of the unique way the BBC is funded by you, the British public, it can make a whole range of top quality programmes which are the envy of the world. Whose programme can I'm batier to Dunia me BBC can number one bestseller, eh? Are you bajaye, Guruji? Yeah, lucky, lucky. He lie, come. No day, yet you don't think Kung Fu la. Taking in the sights of the East Enders home city now from BBC One with Jill Dandos on holiday. <laughs> This programme consists chiefly of extracts from tele-recordings of some past transmissions. Sixty years ago, one invention changed our lives. Things that we dreamt of came into our house and spoke to you. The great thing is television. And I think it meant it just for me. Oh, it's beautiful, Mike. It really is. Now, BBC Television invites you to join the party as we celebrate the past and look to the future. You still party! You still party! <laughs> Vote for your favourite programmes, people and memories as we review the story so far. We hope it will be adequate enough to give you some idea of our aims, our methods 
and the standards we reached. TV60, a season of programmes on BBC One. Saving lives is the order of the day here on BBC Scotland on one and a half an hour, including the cat that came to the rescue of an 18-month-old baby. An emergency in Albert Square before that on BBC Scotland is at the end of the road for Ian. <laughs> Frontline Scotland, tonight at 9.30, CBC Scotland on one. In half an hour, a boxer and an athlete take on a swimmer and a footballer. It's a question of sport. That's after more Tales of Bravery from the 999 Lifesavers. Tonight on... There's a newborn. Christian discovers his feet are made for walking. And another mother's care and attention means her cubs are thriving and they revel in their newfound confidence. That's Big Cat Diary, tomorrow at 8 on BBC One. Searching for truffles in Umbria, Antonio Carluccio serves up another mouth-watering Italian feast on BBC Two shortly. This is BBC Scotland on One. And it's UEFA Cup football next Tuesday as Newcastle travel to Hungary for the first leg of their second round tie. Coverage begins at 8 here on BBC One. And the new Radio Times includes features on forthcoming BBC programmes together with complete listings for all television and major satellite channels. On the trail towards France 98, Scotland's Baltic campaign continues. Tomorrow, we... They could have made us pay higher premium. I think they just think that I'm going to die and that's it. Test positive. Frontline Scotland. In half an hour, BBC Scotland on one. A secret plan hatched by the world's most powerful nuclear force that could have sparked World War III. Time Watch uncovers the disturbing truth from BBC Two in a moment. Old photographs provide the only clues to the mysterious death of a photographer in Georgia, a late film, at 12.15. This is BBC Scotland on One, now the nine o'clock news with Peter Sissons. The provisional IRA have admitted responsibility for yesterday's bombing of the army headquarters outside Belfast. As their Scottish counterparts. BBC Scotland examines the evidence and reveals the sinister shape of future Spanish fishing methods. Troubled waters. Thursday at 8, BBC Scotland on 2. Now on BBC Scotland on 1, Frontline Scotland investigates genetic testing. <laughs> Genetic testing. The sisters hope it won't save their lives. But testing has consigned this woman to a rapidly growing genetic underclass. Tomorrow, exclusively on BBC Scotland, we take on Estonia. We've beaten them twice. We're hoping for a hat trick. Live from Tallinn, World Cup sports scene. Tomorrow at 4.30, BBC Scotland on 2. Another fruity collection of the world's funniest commercials now on BBC Scotland on One, after the break. BBC Scotland examines the evidence and reveals the sinister shape of future Spanish fishing methods. Troubled waters. Thursday at 8. 
DVD Scotland on two. Old photographs provide the only clues to the mysterious death of a photographer in our film premiere tonight. Judy Davis is Georgia at 12.15. A medical miracle in the jungle before that in BBC Scotland on one. Sean Connery is the medicine man. Trick, live from Tallinn, World Cup sports scene, tomorrow at 4.30, BBC Scotland on two. A murder mystery rounds off Tuesday night here on BBC Scotland on one, Judy Davis is Georgia. Now, just before we go, here's the weather forecast for Scotland for tonight and tomorrow. Tonight, a band of patchy rain will spread south, though amounts of rain will be generally small. It'll be fairly mild, but sheltered northeastern parts could have some ground frost. Tomorrow, any rain lingering over the southwest and the borders will soon clear, and most of the mainland will be dry with some sunshine. The northwest will have a few light showers, while over the northern isles, strong to gale force westerly winds will bring more frequent showers. And that's the forecast. Well, that brings Tuesday's programmes to a close here on BBC Scotland on One, but we're back at six in the morning with Business Breakfast and Breakfast News at seven. At the same time, our colleagues at Radio Scotland begin the day with Daybreak and Good Morning Scotland. If you fancy a bit of late education, then there's the Learning Zone over on two, and BBC Radio can also keep you company during the night. But now, with the time approaching 18 minutes to two, all that remains is for me, Charles Hamilton, to wish you a very good night. I'm off for a hot toddy. Sweet dreams. <laughs>